Hey guys, welcome back. I am showing you a quick video of me working on the kitchen because I am trying to do a better job. Right now I am showing you some basic footage of when I was tiling. I thought I had actually videoed quite a bit of me tiling and I can find none of the footage. Uh, I actually really remember talking through it. So this is some of the quick video I have taken with my phone through some of the Bit, so I apologize, but you don't actually see me full tiling here. It's not too hard. Um, I actually used that tile adhesion for the mortar. And as you see, I just used a square tile in a stacked pattern. I really like that simple pattern. So basically what I was doing because of the way it was working best for me was I would back butter the tile like you see here. It's good to get a good little portion on there and then you use the trowel to create these little divots on the tile. And then what you don't see here is I'm making several to put up at one time is when you put it on the wall, you kind of squeegee it back and forth because what you're trying to do with that pressure is those little channels then kind of flatten out and stick it to the wall. You can also do the same thing with putting it on the wall, which I started doing, but it was taking a lot longer than if I just back buttered each tile the way I did. So here's just a quick little view of what I was doing. Again, sorry that this uh, footage has gone missing, but I did try to take some updated uh, shots of when I was getting it through. So these are the tiles that have been set, but they're not grouted. And there was obviously still some missing pieces here, but I was excited for the progress. It ultimately took me pretty much two full days to do this. Um, obviously a professional probably would have gotten this wall done in one day, but you know, slow and slow, slow and steady wins the race. Um, I was super proud of how this turned out. I'm still going to work on the top where that pipe is to the top left. Um, but ultimately the wall is pretty much 98% full tiled and the cuts were really nice and easy to make very simple design but I think it looks so great so then on day three I started working with the grout this is a already or pre-sealed grout so basically it just means that once I put it up I don't have to go back and seal it for those who don't know grout is porous because it's sand um, and when you use it in a wet application, i.e. in a bathroom, or in this case, a backsplash kitchen, you wanna make sure that if you're not using an already uh, pre-sealed um, grout or something that comes with it's already ready to go, that you get a grout sealer. It's just like a liquid application. And then once you're done grouting, a few days later, you would put the sealer on just to make sure no moisture is getting back behind those tiles. So grouting is pretty simple, especially when you use this particular particular application. This type of grout, you have a little bit of a time sensitive nature, which is you start putting it on, it kind of has the consistency of wet sand. So I lose a lot of it, as you can see there. But once you get it going and you press it in, you're gonna see, I'm gonna push it in from all sides. The rule of thumb is kind of holding that grout float, which is that kind of plastic thing you see me using here. It, push it in about 45 degrees and you kind of want to work on all directions because what you're trying to do is really get that grout into every nook and cranny of those little gaps. So you push it and you push it. And then when you're kind of cleaning up after yourself, you're going to put that float at more of a 90 degree to really scrape through what you have put on there. So you'll see me here in a second, um, kind of turn the float more in a 90 as I squeeze squishy it off and then I'll go back and I'll fill in all the little nooks and crannies a little bit more. This grout, you have about a three to four minute window of working with it. Um, and then you want to make sure you're getting to wiping it down because of the sealer in it. Um, it, it, you can't just let it sit on the tile for a really long time. So you work in small sections, you really work on it. And then what you do is you have, in this case, I have a wet sponge and a wet microfiber cloth. Um, and so that you can kind of not wash the tile, but 
wipe it down gently, removing the excess grout so that it doesn't stick to the tile where you don't want it to go. And I do a kind of a two-step process with that. So you'll see here, once I'm finished kind of evaluating that I have hit all of the nooks and crannies, which when you get on a whole wall, sometimes it takes a little bit to pay attention to. You wanna make sure you're pressing it in, again, all sides. And so this is actually right behind where the oven's gonna go. I didn't wanna tile, you don't need to tile all the way down. So that board just helped me with keeping a line from one countertop to the other. So as I mentioned with that time, now I'm gonna go back with the microfiber side of this wet sponge and just start wiping. Now it does kind of spread a film across the tile, which is why I do a two-step process here. And then a few days after everything is cured, I'll go back in and actually wipe it down again with a clean rag so that any little microscopic little sand bits are sticking to tile, I can get them off. But this is what you do in this application with this particular type of grout is you're gonna need to work in small sections and give yourself a few minutes um, to make sure you're wiping everything really well. Don't wipe too hard because you don't wanna take the grout out of the lines that you just did and then always have some clean water I don't know if it's really the best to be using my sink. I want to say that you really shouldn't be doing that, but I was doing it in such an application and I was diluting it so much that thankfully I don't think I've noticed any problems with drain. Sorry, I didn't have more coverage footage. I did try, I just don't know where the um, videos went to, but I am excited. That is a big project off my plate and it took about three full days. It was two days to tile and one to grout. And as you get better, it gets faster, but you know what? Take your time, quality over timing, I think. Thanks again for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.